In this video, I will be highlighting just how powerful the web service is by showcasing the resource optimization features. In the Citrus Cloud Console, we will click on My Services, Workspace Environment Management, and then the Manage tab. Once in the WEM console, we will select System Optimization, where we will now have access to all of our resource management tools. First, we will look at CPU management, where we can enable CPU spike protection and set a customizable CPU spike protection limit. The WEM agent will now monitor every process to see if it goes over the set limit. If a process does exceed the limit for longer than the set sample time, the priority of the process will decrease. This will ensure a better experience for all users. We can also enable intelligent CPU optimization. This will again monitor each process, except this time it will also record how many times a process exceeds that set CPU limit. If the process exceeds the limit 10 times, its priority level will begin to decrease. Under CPU priority, you can statically assign the priority for a process. Under CPU affinity, you can statically assign the number of cores a process runs on. And finally, under CPU clamping, you can set a max CPU usage for a specific process. Next, we will look at memory management and enable working set optimization. For the purposes of this demo, we will set the idle sample time to five minutes, which is the lowest possible value. Now, if a process goes idle for longer than that set five minutes, the WEM agent will look at the process and determine how much RAM it needs to remain stable. The agent will then send the rest of the RAM back to the servers. This allows you to put more users on the same amount of servers. IO management is the same concept as CPU priority just for input output. And finally, we will enable fast log off. This will essentially end the user session, giving the user the impression that they disconnected immediately, when in reality, the log off process is still running, just not visible to the user. Now that we've looked at the console, let's see the WEM service in action. First, we're gonna take a look at the memory management feature. I'm currently logged into a virtual machine. When I open up Task Manager, you can see my RAM usage is already at about 55%. Now I'm going to open up multiple tabs on a Chrome browser. This takes my RAM usage to over 90%. If you recall from earlier in the video, we enabled working set optimization. So after five minutes, the WEM agent will look at how much RAM the process needs to be stable and then reallocate the excess RAM. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna fast forward the time so that you can see when the RAM usage begins to decrease. Now that it's been five minutes, you can see that the RAM percent usage is taken down from 90% to about 70%. Again, this will allow you to put more users on your servers and in return, save your organization cost. Now, let's look at CPU spike protection in action. If you're familiar with the other Citrix One videos, you might have seen CPU stress being used before. If not, CPU stress is a tool which will put CPU load on our virtual machine. In Task Manager, we can look at CPU stress consuming a lot of CPU. If we watch the base priority column, notice that the priority is moved from high to low. This confirms that the WEM agent is successfully applying our spike protection settings, which will lead to a better experience for all users. Finally, I want to highlight the fast log off feature. First, I will log into the virtual machine when the fast log off feature is disabled. When we click sign out, notice that this takes over 10 seconds for the user to fully log out.
Now, I will sign onto the virtual machine with the same user, except this time, the fast logoff feature will be enabled. Notice that when I click the sign out button, the user logs out almost instantaneously. That wraps up the web service resource optimization demo. In the next video, I will be highlighting how the web service can help with logon optimization.